Hello everyone, welcome back to the Tea Land. So today we're talking about Nick Avocado and he has finally responded to Stephanie So. So here is some of the key important things he said in the video. I have screenshots, I have photos, I have audio clips, I have various pieces of the story that Stephanie decided to leave out of hers. The first thing I'd like to address are the photos in her house. But she was sitting right there as I took a photo watching me. Watching me. You painted the stage for your viewers that you had no idea I was taking photos and that was the reason you're questioning her safety. I was admiring her furniture, admiring her. And she says, I don't have fancy light fixtures. I'm sorry. That's the first house I've been in that looks like that. This is a multi-million dollar home. I was impressed. You know how like yours just like makes a message on your phone? But then you have to open it, you have to see. And it does it like every time someone walks by, which is annoying. But theirs will be like, it's a intercom sound speaker like throughout every room in the house. And the lady will go, someone's at the front door. And they'll go, someone's at the front gate. Or someone's out back. Or someone opened the second story window. And she talks to you and stuff. I really want that. That's really nice. The next thing I'd like to talk about is Veronica Way. That she asked us, me and Zach, to take part in a multi-video documentary. Hi, so I have a wild idea. Veronica Wang is gonna be in Los Angeles and wanted to meet me to talk. I haven't run the idea by her, but I'm pretty sure she'll be on board considering everything. I want to do a more serious docu-series type video, Shane Dawson type, with Veronica. Zach says, I'm not involved in that drama, but I'll help out wherever you need me to. She wanted Zach to be in this video, and Zach doesn't even speak. And this is what I said to her. I said. It honestly seems like a little much. Like at this point in time, no one, no one even knows you stopped being friends or that she treated you so poorly. So it will come across to the viewers as you trying to bring her back to being liked by everyone again, which could backfire. In Stephanie's video, saying she doesn't know how to say no to me, she's so afraid for it. She said no to me lots of different times. She said to, no to me over dinner. As this group text was going down, I asked Zach personally, I said, between you and I, what do you think? He says, I'm with you on this one only because she never really addressed it when it was all going down. And no one knows her and Veronica had beef. Let me repeat that to you again. I feel like Stephanie is trying to get involved in the drama without being involved in the drama. Stephanie Sue, out of nowhere, after telling me, no, I can't collab with you because you're too much drama, pitched me an idea to collab with me, Honey Eats, Kimmy, and herself to put on her channel. Honey Eats doesn't like her. Kimmy doesn't like her. I didn't really like her. I didn't even know her. That's what Zach said. I think Stephanie is trying to capitalize on it. The, what people see of Stephanie Sue on the internet is not the Stephanie Sue that people off camera know her as. I didn't sexually harass Stephanie Sue. And the Me Too movement, and linking that to her collaboration. Sexual assault, Me Too movement, PTSD, abuse, predatory tendencies, definitions about manipulation, and da da. That has nothing to do with anything that took place. Emotional manipulation is not what I did to you. I have proof and documentation that people have been reaching out to my sponsors and telling them not to work with me anymore because I have predatory sexual behavior. And this is gonna follow me for life. For life. For life. If you hear a message like that after getting stood up for an entire day, an hour and a half before the sun goes down, does the first thing come to your mind say, oh, she was in and out of sleep because she's having PTSD about a sexual assault and a trauma? That it, I had no idea of knowing that. Is there anything else you'd like to add? And Stephanie's gesturing and putting her hand up as if she wants to say something. And I'm like, okay, what would you like to add? She uses that, she chops out the context, and she uses it to say I was pressuring her or making her feel uncomfortable like I want to bring up Veronica again. In an ASMR, what we were just gonna whisper about her at the end of the video? So I said, do you want something else to say? And then she said, thank you for watching us eat this. Stephanie Sue invites herself into my cloud with Zach. She invites herself into it. Here we go. Hey, so you know how I 
exactly my collab with Zach yesterday. Well, today was supposed to be our collab for my video, for my channel. Well, Stephanie Sue just like invited herself into it. So this is exactly what I was afraid would happen. She's very like, um, I don't want to say self-centered, but she's very like, I'm self-serving. Like, if she can stick her way into it any way she can, she does. And so she like FaceTimed me with them both together in the car on their way to pick up food for a collab. But they were supposed to come over, to, he was supposed to come over and collab with me. I hate when people do this shit. I didn't want a three-way. I wanted one with Zach, just like I had one with him on his channel. It's just not fair. And Honey doesn't like Stephanie Sue either. But she's like, all she cares about herself. And Honey has never talked to her. She's never gotten to know her. She literally just said, hey, can you be on my channel? And like, if it was all four of us, that would get hella views. And she wanted her for her channel. Never talked to us before. Never asked how we're doing. Never want to like meet. She just said, like, come over and film. She just wanted to stick us on her channel. She doesn't even like us. She just wanted to use us. We felt very used. And so I turned it down. So now this is happening all over again. Rude. It's just rude. You don't invite yourself to someone else's collab. Yeah, like she's just really selfish and what's shitty is like they put you in an uncomfortable position because they facetimed you with like both of you together and that puts you in an uncomfortable situation because you can't say no you look bad it's kind of like i think she knew what she was doing she seems very manipulative like so that's the truth i didn't pressure her to be there i had pressure her into filming really late at night where she was uncomfortable and she's never been out that late and that is just not the truth you know, I, this is where a lot of my frustration was coming from. This is what started it. She started it. I didn't just wake up saying like, F this girl. You know what I mean? So this is, she's very sneaky. You invited yourself there. You could have said, actually, I changed my mind. It was just ridiculous. And she did it for her own benefit. Or I, I feel so bad for Honey because people think like she was just picking on Stephanie out of the blue. Stephanie has given her the middle finger for a very long time. She's taken some sponsorships from her. She's never ever gotten to know her she only contacts her when she wants something out of her um but now she's willing to do it because the views kept going down 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 you can look at her social blade and her views have been going down for like almost half a year just steadily declining now it's worth it and now she's willing to do it because it's nikocado avocado and she's gonna get clicked um people don't stand by their word i feel like this is what i have this is what i have I know it's also strange too, she wore her merchandise shirt in her accusation video. Who the heck promotes their t-shirts in a video like that? Her first video back was In-N-Out Burger. I find it peculiar, I find it odd, very strange, very unusual behavior. She doesn't use logos. Very, I mean, I'm sure she probably has a few out there, but it's very rare. She has a merch line and then her next video back was the In-N-Out with the logo. And on top of it, the video she posted before the accusation was also in and out without a logo. And then if you look at the tags, look at the tags under her accusation video. It says, hi Nick, I know you're seeing this. Who taunts with their uh, abuser? Who taunts with a predator? If she's that scared of me, that is the strangest thing. No one's ever done that for, to me before. I've been on YouTube since 2015 messages. She knows that that phrase isn't a CEO, a SEO word. Sorry, I don't even know. An SEO word. She knows. She knows. Honey Eats has gotten so many death threats. Remember when Veronica Wang said that? She didn't prove it. Uh, maybe she did. I don't know. Tony Eats has. She showed the screenshot. She shows what people were saying. Just meeting her in the grave with her dead father and her brother who has some kind of disablement. You know, he deserves to die. Like, just really heinous thing over something very, very insignificant. Guess who's watching every single story who has been watching it for days and days. Here are the receipts. Only 2,000, 3,000 people saw this story. He only just posted it on Life Update. And she said, oh, well kind of awkward but I can accept her, her apology. Why didn't she t throw in there and I've also seen how people have reacted and it's broken my heart or I've seen how people have twisted this into being this big old extra thing and it's also broken my heart and by the way please don't send her hate speech. Doesn't say anything and she's been watching my stories too. The minute I post it within the minutes within five minutes and I have 70,000 people watching my stories right now. Why are you keeping tabs on what I do next? Nobody knew the time of my flight except for two people. Zach Choi and Stephanie Sue. Stephanie posted her video around the time of me boarding the plane. Stephanie Sue has never posted ever a mukbang or a video on her channel that early, ever. And I did see a lot of people commenting about, wow, this is uh, strangely early. 
It's hard to believe that this was an accident. It really wasn't that big of an issue, but now it's been blown up into this whole thing across the whole internet. No matter what I say, I can't make pe people are gonna think I'm just doing this as like a, um, to save face or like a PR stunt. I just feel so, I feel manipulated, manipulated. But please stop, 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 stop for the love of God. Stop calling me a predator. Stop calling me manipulative. Stop calling me a groomer. The amount of people who are making videos call me a groomer. That's my truth. That's my side of things. So I'll see you when I'm ready to talk again. Bye-bye. So in conclusion, at this point, I don't know who to believe because Nick did show some receipts and it did seem like everything he was saying made sense. It just seems like everything was just blown way out of proportion and this was a small issue where a phone call could have been made to address and it turned into YouTube drama. But yeah, so after listening to both sides, I hope we can all put this behind us. We can all move forward. Like I said before, I don't think either parties, Stephanie or Nick, deserves any hate. And I believe this is a teaching lesson, one that we can all take with us, that communication is very important. I feel like if Stephanie would have picked up the phone and called Nick and told him how she really felt, then they could have addressed the issues behind closed doors. And one thing Nick said was that he sometimes worked with people that he doesn't really like. And as a genuine subscriber, I think it's really fake when you're making videos or collaborating with someone that you don't even like i understand youtube is a business but i don't think it's right to sit in front of the cameras to introduce your audience to a person that you don't even like i think it's best if we just all move on from this let me know what you guys think about this whole situation don't forget to comment and subscribe